Hey everybody, BC with Combustion Monkey here. Just wanted to uh, put this quick video together for you. In case you are one of those, uh, as it gets colder out and temperatures drop to zero and below, uh, who is using the uh, engine block heater on your Sierra 3.0 diesel. Uh, I had the pleasant surprise that when I did that, if it wasn't down to a certain temperature when I started my truck or unplugged it or whatever the scenario is basically i started my truck and my radiator fans turned full blast absolutely full blast uh sounded like a jet engine it was it was insane and then of course when i'm driving it's pulling so much air through the radiator and it's cold cold air that i don't have any heat so my temperature was stuck at like 140 or something like that 130 uh, and i'm trying to get heat so it didn't work um i called gmc they told me, hey, you know, we were five or six days out from service. I'm like, well, that's great. I mean, it, everything I've read online sounds like a pretty known issue. I think all they have to do is like clear a code and update your ECU uh, to make sure that this bug doesn't happen again. But I tried clearing the codes on my own. I pulled up two scanners. I have one cheap scanner and one expensive scanner. One of the, the cheap scanners saw something, but it wasn't an actual code and I couldn't clear it. And I put in my expensive scanner uh, that hooks up to your computer and checks your vitals, your engine, and all that. And it didn't even show a code at all. So I even cleared codes on that. Didn't make a difference. Uh, I read that you need to have the, the codes cleared, which I didn't have any, and uh, let it soak, cold soak, for six hours plus. So I did that, and I let it sit overnight, which was like 10 hours or so, 12 hours. Didn't work. Um, the only thing that I actually found to work that fixed my issue, finally, was to unplug the battery. Uh, I just did the negative cable because the positive have, has a, a like a circuit panel on it. So I just disconnected the, the negative battery uh, connection and then um, threw a rag in there so that I made sure it wouldn't ground to anything or, or touch the, the negative post on the battery. I let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I went to start it and boom, it worked. So I didn't want to spend, you know, five minutes of your time with you watching the video. Um, trying to find out what the solution was. I wanted to get that out of the way early. If you want to see my experience, uh, here it is. Hope it helps you. So this is interesting. I uh, had my block heater plugged in. It's one degree right now in the Chicago area. I came out after I remote started it and this fan is just going crazy. Listen to this. There's nothing wrong with it as far as like temperatures. I mean, it sounds like it's overheating, you know, like it's trying to pump as much air through that radiator as possible. So not sure what's going on. Okay, so I've been driving for uh, a few minutes now and this is actually the second remote start. I started it earlier and then I started it five minutes before I got outside and it still has nothing as it pertains to temperature and I still hear that fan whining. So it's almost like it's cooling itself too much for no absolute, absolutely no reason. Uh, I'm gonna try to turn off the car or the truck and uh, let it sit for a second and then restart it and see if that makes a difference. Clearly something's wonky here and I have no idea why. But uh, I'll update you here. I'm gonna pull over and see if I can make a difference. Okay, so just turned it off. Open the door so that everything turns off, and I'm gonna sort of turn it back on. It's coming back. I have no idea what's going on. But I wonder if it has something to do with, uh, I wonder if it has something to do with the um, block heater. Maybe sent some weird signal. Very strange. I'll uh, keep monitoring and see what I can do to get rid of this, but it's kind of freaking me out. Because I need heat. It's cold as hell in here. Alright, so it is day two of the high fan issue, and I still haven't been able to figure out. I've had a couple of computers that I've attached to it. Um, one of them showed some very basic code that 
I had the video of, and then the other one didn't even show a code at all. And that was a really expensive scanner, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I don't have a check engine light or anything like that anyways. So what I decided to try today is two things. One, I have plugged it back in, and I'm going to see if maybe it can break itself back to fixing itself. Uh, so it's been plugged in for a couple of hours. I'm going to start it. But the other thing I'm going to do after this is I'm going to unplug the battery for 15 or 20 minutes and see if that makes any difference at all. So as you can see, it's cold as hell outside. I have no heat in my car. It's not fun. So, oh, and GMC said that it's going to be uh, four days. No, six days until I can bring it in. So pretty sweet. You, you spend this kind of money on a a nice pickup truck and have to wait seven days or six days to get it into the shop to fix something that shouldn't be broken in the first place. So uh, let's go ahead and try starting it up and see what happens. There it goes. So still broken. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood and remove the battery cable and I'll update you in a minute. Okay, well I waited 15 minutes and uh, reconnected the battery, started it up, and we're good. No loud fan. Uh, so that's good news. But one weird thing is, I don't know if this is going to fix itself or what, but when I open the door, no, it seems to be good. So initially, when I had opened the door, this step came out and went all the way back. Uh, but overall, it's good. I don't hear the fan anymore. Very happy about that. Now I don't have to waste my time going to the dealership. I just won't use that stupid engine block heater anymore. Uh, unless it's extremely cold, which apparently zero degrees isn't cold enough. So. Uh, I, I would recommend not using that engine block heater ever unless it's like, I don't know, minus 10 or something, minus 15, who knows, but pretty, pretty pointless in my opinion to even have that option. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this helped you. I couldn't really find any information on this um, anywhere. I, I saw people said that they cleared the code, but I didn't have a code, you know, that actually showed up. So very strange, but overall glad I fixed it. Hope it helps you and saves you a little bit of time. Take care.